apologize for the tardiness, but uh, yeah, my name is Our Prophet. I'm originally from Oakland, California. I was raised in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, came up with a group, uh, I guess that many people know as Nappy Roots. Uh, we made some pretty good music. And uh, I'm now currently here in Atlanta. I uh, got a new project going on, so I'm on Prophet. All right. I was a little bit excited when I found out I was going to interview you today, so you know I had to come so happy roots before. All right, all right, all right. Just a little bit. So tell everybody how you became a member of that group and how music got started for you. Okay, well, uh, music got started for me ultimately, I mean, just being a fan of music, uh, listening, you know, riding around in the car, you know, with my parents, but, you know, mostly my mother, uh, riding around and seeing and uh, then at the same time being in Oakland, being babysit by uh, by my auntie, uh, the late Aunt Julia, you know, she used to mop mop the uh, project floor with you know the you know with the good stuff and be playing that music, you know, the front door would be open, the back door would be open. Uh, in Oakland, Acorn Projects. So I don't know if y'all know that about you know too short used to rap about about it, but that's where I'm from. Um, so, you know, ultimately, you know, that, that kind of just, you know, I kind of took to that, you know, I kind of embody all those old type of hits and, and things of that nature. So, uh, we moved to Kentucky in 1985, and, you know, I was fortunate enough to make it to Western Kentucky University. We all met in college, so all six of us, the Nappy Roots. Um, nobody had ever came, and still today, as a hip hop group, has ever came, you know, in the way that we've come. Um, and we kind of linked up, we kind of looked at each other, each other as, you know, just all, you know, one people, you know, but all had great talents, but, you know, feeling like to pull off bringing out a state and uh, of music out of the state of Kentucky, we all needed each other. So we linked up in college and started freestyling, and we, you know, the rest is history. All right. You guys linked in college. That, that's a good one because most people think you can't be creative or get that distance being in college. So how did that impact you guys being there? Um, well, we kind of look at it as like really just okay, this small little city right here. We don't look at it as if it's the whole world. Being in college, you got a lot of uh, demographics you're dealing with. Uh, you know, whites dealing with blacks, dealing with people who come from poverty, you're dealing with people who come from uh, um, come from wealth, um, you're dealing with um, different uh, fraternities, you're dealing with different sororities. So what we did, you know, it kind of helped market and brand ourselves. We put out these t-shirts, it might be a pink shirt, we bring letters and we say that we group on um, you know, for the cues, it might have had a, a purple shirt with gold letters, and you know, it said that group. So, for for a long way, we we were you know kind of marketing rules in, in our own right and putting out our shirts towards the fraternities and sororities and people. Many people didn't even know who the members of Nappy Roots was, um, but we were able to gain a fan base, fan base, and putting out tapes. You know, what I'm saying yeah, tapes. Um, a long time ago. So we was putting out music, uh, followed kind of the uh, example that Master P set. He owned a, a music store. You know, we read a lot about Master P. So, you know, we used our, our residual money from colleges, um, from college, and put our money together and, you know, bought us a music store directly across the street from Western Kentucky University. Uh, from there, you know, we started a mixtape store. Um, so, on one side you had where you could come and buy your mixtapes, the other side you had a recording studio. I mean, to the lights that Yo Gotti used to come and buy mixtapes from our record store. You know, this is, uh, we're talking, you know, late 90s, 2000s. Um, you know, being that he was coming from Tennessee and a lot of other artists, you know, people would come and check us out. So, um, it kind of just shaped us, you know, just being businessmen, being gurus, learning how to brand ourselves as artists. You're well educated, you're an artist. Tell us a little bit about being a black male and dealing with police brutality in Kentucky. Because that's a different side of different thing you have to deal with, correct? Mm -hmm. Oh, without a doubt. And, I, and it's not even just, well, you know, it is something, you know, to be said about coming up in the South and the Midwest. Um, 
you know, being a black male, you know, it is very tough. You know, I think kind of what you're hitting on or alluding to, uh, many people may not know I was a victim of police brutality uh, in 2015. Um, you guys may be able to see some footage, just YouTube, TMZ interviews, Nappy Roots, or TMZ interviews, our profit. Um, you're able to uh, see my head was lopsided. I'm so good. I'm uh, so glad. You know, look, I'm from my, uh, the city of Muhammad Ali. I'm, I feel so pretty now because my head was lopsided. You know, uh, broke my nose. They, they they messed me up pretty good. But uh, ultimately, I was tased 15 times. I was a survivor of police brutality. So um, that was basically because I am one of the few black people that have a name. Uh, in hip hop in Kentucky, and they felt like they wanted to let me know that, you know, I'm, I'm nobody special, I'm just a nigga when it comes down to it. Um, so I was able to survive, I'm still able to uh, go around and share my story, release new music, and now, you know, I've kind of been planted a low profile for a number of years because, you know, it's, it took a lot out of me, you know, when things like that happen. You know, a lot of people really don't understand, you know, how, how much of a toll it can take on you, you know, mentally. You know, you, you go to, you go to, you know, you know, I had to liquidate a lot of my, uh, you know, just liquidate it too. You know what I'm saying? You know, that thing costs a lot of money to go through four or five lawyers and, you know, then you go through depressions and, you know, your career falls down. And so I'm just now actually making it back to, you know, the state that I want to be in, and when I say the state, I mean the state of mind, uh, to be able to put out good music, to be able to come and talk to people like you guys and kind of share my story, uh, you know, in, in any way I can help and inspire others. That's why I am our prophet. All right. Our prophet, tell us what keeps you motivated. You've been through a lot, but what kept you going? What kept you in this chair right here today? Uh, well, I just have a, a, a burning desire. You know, as a, as a kid, I always used to dream that I would be on TV. I would become famous um, since then. Obviously, I've been able to do that. Um, but with that, I've always wanted to help a lot of people. So it was never all about me. And, you know, so now I understand, you know, the type of things that I've experienced. You know, I've experienced some really great things. And I would like to help many people, you know, and especially the kids. So if there's anything that I can do uh, to kind of help uh, uh, anyone's life, you know, that's what I'm about. So that's what kind of keeps me moving. Uh, and, and not only uh, kind of repairing my life as well, you know, even my life as well as my family's life. So. You have some new music coming uh, yeah, Jesse James is a is a song that's a pretty cool song. It's gonna make some noise in the clubs and whatnot. Um, really happy about that. It's kind of more of a sound that's going on right now. Uh, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. But uh, actually, a, a song that I just made, I'm putting a kids choir on it uh, sometime next week, if not later on this week. I'm even more excited about that song. It's called uh, I Just Wanna Eat. If you don't mind, you, you mind if I hit a couple lyrics? Yeah. All right, check this out. This is new, y'all. I just want to eat. I just want to eat. I just want to feed my own with not that pain sleep. I just want to eat. I just want to eat. I just want to feed.